Welcome! In this video, we'll explore the brand new features in Twinmotion 2025.2, the Exploder Animator Tool. This is an exciting addition because it allows us to animate objects in completely new ways using simple presets and controls. Let's begin by locating it. You can find the tool by going to Library, Tools, Animators, and there you'll see a new option called Exploders. Inside, you'll notice several ready-made presets that you can apply instantly. We'll go through them one at a time to see how each one behaves. The first preset is called Gentle Push. This creates a subtle, controlled animation that looks like the objects are slowly being pushed outward. The next one is Deconstruct, which breaks the object apart into smaller pieces, giving it a disassembled look. Following that is Inflate, where the object appears to expand outward as if it's being filled with air. We also have Ring Peel, which gives the effect of peeling away layers in a circular motion. Another interesting one is Pressurize, where the pieces push outward as if pressure is building up inside. Then there's Plan Split, which divides the object into clear sections for a clean separation effect. And finally, we have Stack Reassemble, where the object breaks apart and then comes back together in a stacked formation. Those are the default preset animations included in Exploders. Now let's try applying them to a simple model I prepared for this demonstration. Before we continue, here are two important tips. First, make sure your actors are separated into individual objects. It's much easier to animate them this way than if they are grouped together. Second, make sure each object has its pivot point centered. This ensures the animations behave predictably when you apply them. Once everything is ready, the next step is to parent your models to the Exploder Animator. With that done, let's take a look at some of the key options. The Move Parent option allows you to reposition the Exploder Animator itself without moving the objects linked to it. This is useful for setting the point of origin for your animations. Under Collision Mode, you can assign specific actors that will act as triggers for the animation. In the Main Animation section, you have the choice to use Twinmotion's built-in presets or to load and save your own custom animations. The amplification factor determines how far objects move away from the reference origin. Adjusting this gives you finer control over the scale of the effect. You can also choose whether the reference is based on the center or the pivot of each object, which can change how the animation plays out. Finally, there's looping and delay section. Here you can adjust timing, duration, delays and easing. Personally, I find it easier to fine-tune these settings directly in the sequencer, but it's good to know you can adjust them here as well. Now, let's reset everything, organize our models, and begin animating with the Exploder tool. 
From here, you can start experimenting with the different presets and options to create your own unique effects. Now, let's drag the Explorer Animator tool into our project and set it up with the model. We'll try to center it on the object so the orientation of the animation looks cleaner and more accurate. For this example, I'll use a simple plane shape, then rotate it by 90 degrees so that the animation plays along the x-axis. After that, I'll parent the bolts to the animator since that will be the first part we want to animate. Next, we'll animate the lid. At this point, I noticed a few small issues with this new feature, which is understandable since we're still working with the preview version. For example, you can't duplicate the Exploder tool. And even if you save a preset, it doesn't keep the orientation settings. This means you'll need to set up each Exploder actor one by one. Now, let's set up the rest of the parts. Since there are four components in this assembly, I'll be using Stagger Offset to make the animation flow more naturally. Finally, let's adjust some of the timings, durations and delays. I won't configure them here because it's actually easier to fine-tune these values later in the sequencer. Now let's move on to setting up our sequencer scene. This is where we can fine-tune the animation by adjusting the timing in more detail. I won't go too deep into how to manage and set up the sequencer in this video. We'll save that for another tutorial. So if you'd like to see that, don't forget to subscribe.
Once you're satisfied with the animation timing, you can go ahead and adjust your camera angles, render settings, ambient lighting, and then export it as either a video or a presentation. What we've covered here is just the basics of the Exploders Animator tool. There's still plenty more to explore if you want to create more advanced or complex animations. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.